Okay, I like making practical videos on YouTube that uh, no one else is showing anybody how to do, and I've had this question asked a lot, so let's do a demonstration. I've actually got the mirror locked up on this uh, DSLR. Um, like I'm gonna clean the sensor, except I'm not. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a mirror box uh, clean out, and I've always encountered this on any used DSLR I've ever bought because nobody knows how to keep their camera clean. The serious issue, is several things, one of which is that the back end of uh, people's lenses uh, look like a dog been wiping its butt on it. The main issue, however, is that the rear caps of lenses on the interior is left really, really dirty. And this is what people do. They'll actually take the rear cap off of their lens out in the field. They'll stick this in their pocket, okay, where all of the dust bunnies are at. And uh, it'll just be full of crud and garbage and dust, and then I'll actually slap it back on the lens. And what it does is it makes its way from your pocket to the inside of the rear cap to the back of the lens. And when you mount the lens, it makes its way inside your damn camera. This is why your rear caps need to be so friggin' clean, and it's why you're making a mistake. Same as everybody else out there that has their brain turned off. But anyway, how to clean out your mirror box. Um, normally, I'd actually use a used sensor swab since they're plastic. But right now, I'm using a wooden-handled paintbrush, and I have some duct tape here. What I'm going to do is I have the mirror locked up like I'm going to do a sensor cleaning. I'm going to clean out the fuzz and the lint that always attaches itself to the inside of the mirror box on either side. And on the bottom, all I've done is I've taken the duct tape and wrapped it inside out. I'm into this dowel, and I'm going to use this dowel to remove the fuzz bunnies and garbage that's on the inside of the mirror box of this Nikon D500. However, this one's pretty freaking clean. However, there are some spots here that I can see. There's one. What I'm actually doing, just lightly pressing it, and the, uh... Mm -hmm. Of course, this is my camera, so it's incredibly clean. There are some spots right down here in the bottom. And, uh... Okay. Any other spots? Yeah, I see actually a fuzz bunny right there. Normally, I'd be using my eyes for this instead of, uh examining the camera through the viewfinder of another camera. Okay, remember to always keep your hand off the on-off switch. If you bump it and drop the mirror, the mirror will fall on whatever it is that's sticking inside the camera, and that will mess up the, uh, the uh, mirror mech. This camera's... I've seen so many... I've seen... Uh, and of course this felt actually holds a lot of garbage, and people don't take care of their cameras. And... Uh, I've seen so much crud, like when the last used DSLR I bought was a used Nikon D4, and I swear to God, the, the felt lining, or flocking, if you will, it's flocking, on the inside of the mirror box on the Nikon D4 that I bought used, I mean, it was just filthy. I had to, like, retape my paint stick, like, four times and do it over and over and over again. It was just filthy dirty. I swear to God, everybody's DSLR I've ever seen like this is like this. Okay, you're not gonna hurt anything. I wouldn't recommend doing this if you've had a lot of caffeine, so you don't wanna be doing this and like, you know, possibly stabbing the sensor. You know what I mean? Shakes, you know, the shakes I'm talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. So anyway, that is actually the professional way to clean the inside of the felt flocking of your DSLR mirror box. And you don't, you can actually, if it's really, really, really dirty, what I'll do is I'll steamroll it. I'll like lay it there and then roll it over and then lift it out. You will not leave any sticky residue in there. You're not gonna hurt anything. You're not gonna hurt the felt flocking. Yep. So that's how you do it. That is how you clean out the felt flocking on the inside mirror box of your DSLR, whether that be Nikon or Canon. I'm going to shut down. There we go. Drop the uh, shutter mech and uh, drop the mirror mech. And uh, yeah, that's how you clean the felt flocking out on your DSLR. This is my Nikon D. This is the camera actually I use to make all my videos with, with the 17 to 55 2.8, a lens that every crop sensor camera owner, Nikon owner, should buy. Period. Period, period. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you like these videos. If you do, click the link below. Tell me that you can't stand me, how much you like it. Whatever makes you happy, as long as I can be informational, logical, and helpful. Wait for it. Nikon.